Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Rocket Riot. Hutch and company, having returned from their last adventure, start out for a little relaxation and plan to write another chapter in Clutch's adventure logbook. Nice day for flying, eh, Spinner? Perfect, Clutch. Wow, wow. I think Paddlefoot's anxious to get there. It doesn't take too long by air. This is sure pretty country from up here. But I'd hate to have to land. Desert for miles. I'm afraid we'd have trouble finding water. They told us in school about the first settlers who crossed the desert. Water was their biggest problem, and a lot of them never made it. But since then, they found many uses for the desert. Oh, I don't like the sound of that at all. We'd better look for a spot to land. Golly, Clutch, nothing but rocks, no matter where you look. Rocks or not, we can't stay up here. Make sure your safety belts are tight. Warm air rising from this hot desert may help keep the plane in the air. See that little opening between those rocks, Clutch? Maybe you can set her down there. That's about the biggest clearing around, Spinner. Can't do any more than try. Only a pilot with many years of experience could possibly set a plane down in such a small space. And Clutch has that experience. We've missed a few dandies so far, it's better. Now, got enough flying speed, we'll pull her up. Easy. Made it. Shoo. The toughest part is over. That rock! Sticking up out of the sand! We're gonna hit it! Can't help it, Spinner. Hold on. I'm going to ground looper. Stop. Then all is quiet. You okay, Spinner? I think I'm all in one piece. <laughs> Paddlefoot says he's fine. That was a pretty sudden stop. Glad everyone's all right. We'll cut that landing gear bolt. The gear itself isn't damaged too much. We can't buy parts here. What do we do? Well, first, let's climb to the top of one of those boulders and look around. Clutch and company climb to the top of a boulder and scan the horizon. Look, smoke, Spinner. Where there's smoke, there's fire, and where there's fire, there's usually people. Do you suppose it's Indians? That could be, Spinner. There are still some around here. Water's what we have to worry about. That smoke looks close, but it may be miles away. Don't walk too fast and stay in the shade whenever you can. A very unpleasant scene. A man, a boy, and a dog walking in the scorching sun with no water. But better to try finding help than to wait and die of thirst. Onward they trudge, getting weaker by the hour until... Clutch, I... I can't make it. It's all right. It's all right, Spinner boy. I'll... I'll help you. With what seems to be his last ounce of strength, Clutch pushes on, but the heat and thirst are too much. Down he goes and lies still, the only sounds being those of a desert vulture. Can Clutch and company survive the desert without water? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. exciting adventure, Rocket Riot. You remember last time Clutch and Company's plane had crash landed in the desert. They started out walking without water. Clutch was carrying Spinner and Paddlefoot, who could go no further. Finally, thirst forced Clutch to fall. All was still. What? We found you lying on the desert. I am Professor Knockwurst, the world's foremost missile and rocket expert. I know who you are, Clutch Cargo. I read your adventure log book. Glad to know you, Professor. But I had with me a little boy and a dog. Oh, yeah. We already know Spinner and Paddlefoot. They woke up and went out to play Mid-Zit. Mid-Zit? What is Mid-Zit? A new game? Ho, ho, ho. Ah, 
no, you misunderstood. Sit is mine helper. He is my assistant. <laughs> so they went out to play with Zit. Oh, I understand. They went out to play with Zit. I am so glad to see you, sir. We have been testing rockets for quite a while now, and finally, I think we got one that will go to the moon. Now all we need is a pilot. The first man to go to the moon. Well, that sounds great. But I didn't know our government was quite that close. It's such a great feat. Not our government. Me. You? Then you have no permission to conduct these experiments. They stopped me once. So I moved my laboratory here so they can find me. But your rockets create a great danger to flying passenger planes. We haven't hit one yet, but they came mighty close. Take a ride with me. I will show you one of my rockets. Clutch and Professor Knockwurst start for the launching pad. As a matter of fact, I will launch a rocket for you now. Looks like you've got one all ready to fire. Oh, yeah. I always keep one ready. Always? How many do you have? Quite a few. Look, in between those rocks. Wow, what a stock pile. Clutch, here we come. Those motorbikes are just the thing for this desert travel. Yeah, and each rocket carries a motor scooter in case you have to walk back. Golly, Clutch, we've been having more fun. Zit's been showing me all over, haven't you, Zit? He said yes, and Spinner likes rockets. I know. Well, here's your chance to see a rocket-fired Spinner. Professor Knockfirst is about to launch one. Oh, boy, just what I was hoping. It only takes a moment for Zip to ignite the rocket fuse, and they all travel a safe distance from the intense heat. Only five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Blast off! Clutch and Company, be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Rocket Riot. You remember last time, Clutch and Company had been picked up off the burning desert by Professor Knockwurst and his helper, Zip. The professor, a rocket expert, had launched a huge rocket. When suddenly... Hang on tight, Spinner. We've really got to move. Get out the quick, Spinner. Flat on the ground. That rock will do it. Get behind it. Flat on the ground. Close to the rock. It's our only chance. She knows herself into the ground. Phew. Now I know what it feels like to almost get scalped. She blew a fuse, but think nothing of it. We got more where that one came from. Sit. Get another rocket. What'd he say? He said okay. Another attempt has made it launching, but no success. Ark, my little rocket playmates are bashful. They won't perform. Another one, Zit. What did he say? He said, okay. Again, an attempt is made to launch a rocket, and again it fails. Ark, I don't think this is a good day for us. It's it. What did he say? He said the gas fuel we used to fire the rocket must have gotten wet, so we should try again some other time. I think that's a very good idea, Professor. Shall we go back to the laboratory? Lead the way, Professor. We'll follow. Watch. Maybe I shouldn't say it, but the Professor seems kind of different, don't you think? Yes, I do, Spinner. I'm sure he's the man they call the strange scientist. 
You and Paddlefoot stick close to me and keep your eyes and ears open. This man is known to be very tricky. They're waiting for us. And I wonder who that lady is. This is the man who did the quick thinking when the rocket ran away. Agent X, this is Clutch Cargo, and this is Spinner and Paddlefoot. How do you do, ma'am? Very well, thank you. I saw your heroic act through my binoculars. You and your friends are very brave. Not really, but we had to do something, and that was the quickest way. I like you. You are very modest. In my country of Spiesville, you would receive a hero's welcome. Let me bestow that honor upon you now. Well, I, I, uh, well, well, uh, uh, well, I... He, he thanks you. <laughs> And now, if you will excuse me. Clutch and company with the professor and Zip go to the laboratory. While Agent X opens a small case in another room, puts on a radio headset, and sends a code message to her government at Spiesville. Good. Agent X says she has met Clutch Cargo and will soon kidnap him and land him on the moon for our government of Spiesville. Will Agent X succeed in kidnapping Clutch? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. and his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Rocket Riot. You remember last time, Clutch and company were saved from being hit by the rocket. Professor Knockworth tried several more times to launch one, but with no success. Clutch and company had met a pretty but strange lady known as Agent X. She had just sent a message to the government of Spiesville. What did you find Agent X, Professor? When I needed a secretary, I wrote an ad in the paper. She had just come to America. And was out of work. She looked so honest, I hired her. Didn't you ask for references? Well, no. You see, I had to keep my rocket experiment secret, so I met her in a small town in Montana. I told her about my rockets, and she said she would like to learn more about them. And now she knows how to fire a rocket, too. She even invented a rocket guidance system. Very smart. And pretty, too. Where'd you find Zip? Ah, he fell into a factory packing case, and they shipped him to me. He liked it here, though he stayed. Remarkable. But, Professor, we've got to think about getting my plane fixed. I'd better look it over again. Take one of my motor scooters. It wouldn't take you so long. Thanks, Professor. I can't get it fixed today, so we'll be back. Clutch and company head toward the plane. This is fun, Clutch. Zip showed me how to drive one. You're doing a good job, Spinner. Just don't go too fast. Meanwhile, back at Professor Knockwurst's laboratory, Agent X and the professor are discussing Clutch and company. Did you tell Mr. Cargo that you need a pilot for your first rocket to the moon? Yeah, I did. And will he accept the job? I only told him. I didn't ask him. Just leave it to me, Professor. I will convince him. Clutch and company arrive at the plane and find things just as they were. A hammer, a wrench, some bolts and bailing wire. We've got it made. It doesn't look nearly as bad as I thought, Spinner. Clutch goes to work. And before long, the landing gear is fixed. Here she is, Clutch. As good as new. Not quite, Spinner, but she'll hold all right. Now we'll take the scooter back. I can just follow my tracks, Clutch. It won't take long. I'll be kind of glad to get away from here. I have a funny feeling about Agent X. Funny feeling? Like, like you love her, Clutch? No, Spinner. Like I, well, like I don't trust her. Golly, Clutch. You think maybe she's a spy or something? Well, that's just between you and me, Spinner. Back at the laboratory. 
Thank you, Zit. They are back, Agent X. That's quite a trip, Professor. That sun is so hot. I will get you some cool water. We repaired the plane, Professor. We'll get an early start. A toast to your safe journey. Thank you. Thanks. That cool water sure tastes good. After you. Uh. Hey, I've been drugged. Clutch, I'm, I'm getting dizzy. Look. Will Agent X kidnap Clutch and company? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Rocket Riot. You remember last time Clutch and company had repaired their plane. Agent X and the professor talked about sending Clutch to the moon. Agent X then drugged Clutch and company's drinking water. Clutch and company, unconscious from being drugged, are quickly put aboard a moon rocket. Everything is ready for the launching. Inside the nose cone, Clutch, Spinner, and Paddlefoot sit, strapped to their seats. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Hooray! Our first successful attempt to really get a rocket off the ground. By the time that drug wears off, they will be on the moon. Right on course. It won't be long now, and we'll have the first rocket on the moon. Jumping sauerkraut! How will we get him back to Earth? I never thought. Don't worry, Professor. Let's just get them there. <laughs> That's sniveling. We are on the brink of a great success. Still unconscious and unaware of their plight, Clutch and company sail upward toward the moon. Quick, Zit, grab that evil woman. Maybe I can change the rocket's course and bring them to Earth. Touch me and I'll smash the guidance system. But it's too late to stop him from grabbing her. Quick as a flash, Agent X kicks the machine. Oh, no. Now we have no way of steering the rockets. Inside the moon rocket, Clutch's hand moves. He's waking up. Uh, Spinner, wake up. I am awake. We're in a rocket. We're going to land on the moon. Looks like it, Spinner. Hold tight. Let's see if these button controls work. Clutch pushes the down button. <laughs> they work, Spinner. We're coming down and fast. That was a bumpy one. Unhook your safety belt. Look, Clutch! A moon man! He just ran over that hill. Come on, we'll follow him. We're near the top. See now. He may have gone to find help. Well, I'll be... Look here, Spinner. A movie company shooting a moon picture and we landed on their movie set. Cut! You ruined the shot! The moon men have landed. I just saw their rocket. Just a moment, sir. He did see it. We were in it, but no, we're not from the moon. Clutch explains what happened. Could you ever forgive me for such a terrible mistake? I have turned Agent X over to the BMI. What's the BMI? The Bonafide Moon Investigators. Don't worry, Professor. We understand. All is forgiven. <laughs> what he said. He said, okay. No, he said, no more big rockets, just little spinner rockets for boys and girls. <laughs> and for dogs. <laughs> and so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and the Rocket Riot. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot.